Hello guys, welcome to the next video on JavaFX tutorial for beginners. In the last video, we have started creating a calculator in JavaFX using model view controller design. And we have created a few classes like main controller model class and we have created our main.fxml design something like this. Now in this video, we are going to complete this functionality for the calculator. Okay, so in the last video, we have created this uh, main controller the Java and model dot Java classes, right? So first of all, we are going to link our fxml file with uh, this uh, main controller class. So go to your scene builder. And on the left hand side, just choose this last option which says controller. And in here, just choose the class for the controller. So in our case, it's application dot main controller class, right? Now just select all the buttons on which you can see the numbers. So these are the buttons from zero to nine. Don't choose the operator buttons, right? Just choose the buttons which has numbers on it. Okay, so choose all the numbers and then go to code here on the right hand side and go to on action and choose the action process number. Okay, so process number, this is the method which we have created in the last video. If you go to the main controller class, this was the method we have created, right? That's why you can see this process number method in on action. In the same way, just choose all of your operators. So this one, this one, this one, this and this. These five are our operators. So select all these operators. And once again, here choose this time process operators, right? So for numbers, we are going to use the function called uh, process number. And for operators, we are going to use uh, this uh, method called process operators. So our linking is complete for the controller and fxml file. Now let's go to uh, our Eclipse IDE. And first of all, we are going to go to our model.java class. And in here, we will complete this calculate method. So this is the easiest part. So what we are going to do is we are going to add a switch statement here. And as a key, we are going to provide our operator okay so based on the operator we are going to decide what action we want to take so operator can be plus minus or multiplication or division right so let's uh, say our operator is plus so what we are going to do is we don't need this break here we are going to take this uh, number one plus number two and we are going to return this. Okay, so just do something like this. Okay, in the same way, we will do the same for a minus multiplication and division. So this is for a minus, this is for multiplication, and this is for division. Okay, so for minus, it's simple number one minus number two. For a multiplication, it's also simple number one asterisk number two for division first of all you need to check if your number two is zero right if your number two is uh, zero then it will go it's going to give you infinity so let just check if number two is equal to zero then we are going to return zero from here okay otherwise we are going to return the division right now in the default case, if uh, the operator doesn't match any case, then in the default case, we are going to return zero. Okay, so in the default case, just return zero. So this is how our calculate method in the model class will look like. Okay, now let's go to the main controller dot Java class. And in here, first of all, we are going to uh, define the label and we can name our label as, for example, result. Okay, and uh, in here above this label, we are going to provide this tag, which is at the rate fxml. And 
what this is going to do is it's going to tag our fxml file with the label and just import this label from here which is java fx label okay and also import this fxml from here okay so this is not going to show you the error same we are going to do for our method like this now we are going to define three variables first will be a uh, long number one and uh, we are going to initialize this by zero okay the second variable will be a string so it will be a string and we will name it as operator okay and we will initialize it by a blank string and third variable will be a boolean string variable so private boolean start and we will initialize it with true value okay now first we will determine whether this uh, flag is set or not in our process number method so go to your process number method and uh, just write if start then what we are going to do we are going to uh, first of all set our label as blank so just write result dot set text is equal to blank and then we will set our flag which is start to false okay now outside this uh, if condition what we are going to do is we are going to create a string variable and we will call it as value and then what we are going to do is we are going to create a bracket and inside the bracket we are going to write this code which says in the bracket button then outside the bracket event dot get source and outside the bracket you will just write dot get text okay and what this is going to do this is going to just take the button text so for example we have a text on the button 7 8 9 or uh, all these numbers okay so this button event dot get source takes the uh, button text and then transfer it into this variable okay and just import this uh, button from here so button class something like this okay and it's going to uh, clear your errors now in the next line what we are going to do is we are going to set so just take this result and then dot set text so just set the text and what we are going to do we are going to uh, take the output from uh, the label so just take set text result dot get text so get text plus the value okay something like this so that's it for this method and in the process operator method what we are going to do is first of all we will just take the input from the button text same as we have done in process number so this value will be your operator right and then what we are going to do is we are going to check if this value is equal to right so just write if this value dot equals and this value is equal to this equal to symbol okay and we will check the negative scenario so if this value is not equal to this equal to symbol we will check if the operator which we have defined here is empty or not so just write if operator dot is empty and we will check the negative scenario here then we will return so just write return here otherwise we will uh, just equate our operator is equal to the value we have right so operator is equal to value and the number one which we have declared here number one we will equate by taking the text from the uh, result right so just number is equal to long because we need to convert this text from string to long so just write long dot parse long 
and in here just take your result label name dot get text and after setting this number we will set this result is equal to null so set text and set text as a blank empty uh, string now if the button which is pressed is the equal to symbol then we will go to else condition okay so in the else first of all we will check if the operator is empty and in this case we will uh, check the positive scenario so keep in mind here we are checking if the operator is not empty and here we are checking if the operator is empty right and then in the next line what we are going to do is we are going to take the second numbers we are going to define a long number 2 is equal to same line as this long dot pass long and then take the uh, value from the get text from the label okay and now we will call our calculate method in the model right so for that we need to declare this model uh, object in our main controller class okay so in here just add model model is equal to new model and now we will take this model object from here and we can call the calculate method so model dot calculate right and in here you can provide the first number which we have uh, assigned the value of first number from here right and uh, the second number we have from here and the operator we have in this operator variable okay so this will give you your output so we can assign this uh, output to a variable so just call a float variable called output from here and this output we can set on our label so our label variable is result so just call our label variable dot set text and then in here just call uh, string dot value of and then just pass your output here okay and uh, just for cleaning what we can do is we can just assign operator is equal to a blank string and start variable which is our this uh, variable start is equal to true and now let's run our code so run it and when i click some number it shows me some error let's see what error is it's giving me error from uh, this line and this result is giving me some error so i think uh, i forgot to link this uh, result variable in our scene builder right so just copy this uh, result variable which is our label variable remember go to the scene builder and select your uh, label inside your stack pane and go to the property in the code section and as a fx id you just need to give this result here right so choose the result save your uh, code once again so save it and after saving go to eclipse and in here right click on your project and uh, refresh your project so that we don't have any error and our fxml file is synchronized with our project and then run it once again and now what we are going to do we are going to add something for example 88 plus 12 is equal to 100 okay so we are getting the result right for example we want to subtract something 45 minus 5 is equal to 40 okay or we want to divide something 9 divided by 3 is 3 or we want to multiply something 50 multiplied by 50 2500 okay so our calculator is running now so this is how you can create a simple calculator in java fx using mvc i hope you have enjoyed this video please wait comment subscribe and bye for now